Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, toolbox update, I guess. A quick one and a quick uh, Jeep progress or lack of progress update, I guess. A um, couple things changed in the toolbox. Um, picked up a new ratchet today. Um, had a couple of situations where I wish I had had a quarter inch drive ratchet that had some more leverage. So I found this one on Amazon. It's got a really nice small head on it. And it's, a, you know, as you can see, quite a bit longer than my other one. So that'll be good for some leverage. It's just a, I think it's a performance tool brand first. So as much as I'm going to need it, it's going to be you know, really handy. I think it was only like $30 or something. So nice, good, uh, cheap ratchet, but should do the trick. Um, something else that's changed is... Um, Picked up something for working on my uh, boat. This is just one of those bearing packers um, for when I have to repack the bearings with grease. It's sometimes a little easier than just doing like the palm method. So throw that in there. Um, this is also, this came with my new axle shafts. This is a tool for um, installing the boots. So hanging on to that because I'm going to have to be using this again right away and I'll explain why in a second. So, Jeep Progress. Believe it or not, I got to drive this the other day and then I ran into a problem. So, drove it down to the alignment shop to get an alignment and for some reason it wouldn't turn. And going down to the alignment shop, the route I was taking, I mostly only had to make left, left turns. So I was thinking, you know, I was having trouble turning left, and so I was thinking maybe it's a steering box issue. I've replaced it's got, uh, the drag length, the tie rod, and the track bar up front. So with all those changes, I thought maybe I didn't have something aligned properly. Is, but, uh, you know, could, wasn't quite sure what was going on. The uh, place where I took it, they were stumped too. They couldn't understand why I didn't want to turn very good either. So I did a bunch of research and calling on my own, and they investigated a bit. They got stumped. They figured out something in the differential. I was told by multiple people it was steering steering box or some other stuff. I managed to limp it home yesterday, and with some help of some uh, other mechanic friends and a technician up at a dealership in, ship in the city, where a friend of mine works, figured out that for some reason the front locker is engaged, and so it's either got kind of clicked in when the the um, Differential was installed inside the housing, which my buddy had done. Or, I guess sometimes when you're putting axle shafts on, sometimes they can knock it in. So, so now I have to tear the brakes off and the wheel bearings off and pull the axle shafts out and the front tie rod because I'm going to try and do this without having to remove the entire housing. Take all that stuff out and then take out the carrier and try and get the lock ring moved over to where it's supposed to be. Then you put it all back in and put everything back together. And so I'm hoping to get all this done. Well, it's Friday afternoon. I just got home from the office. So I'm hoping to get this done this weekend. But I'm first car all weekend. So we'll see. It all depends, I guess, on the sick people and how much they let me get done. So I got a few things I'm going to put around the house here. And then I'm going to get changed and start wrenching on this. I'm hoping to get this, like I said, back together by the end of the weekend. So that way I can get it in for wheel alignment again. That's really the only other thing that's holding it up is just it was, wasn't steering properly. So um, looks like the tires are going to clear without a spacer. It does rub a little bit on the um, mount for the uh, steering stabilizer, which I do not have one installed right now because the one that I had before, I want to get a better one. This one I had before is kind of damaged. So. so anyway, that'll be this weekend's project. I had to sort out an issue with the air compressor. Got that figured out. I had to sort out an issue with the CB radio. Got that sorted out. So... Oh, one more thing too that's different. So I picked this thing up, uh, Princess Auto the other day. It was already on sale plus an additional 50% off. So that's like a $100 item on sale for, I think I got it for like $47. So it's just one of those like work cart things. You can put like screwdriver stuff on the other end. But I've been wanting something to put like parts on and uh, tools and stuff on when I'm working on stuff. And even if I'm working on the driveway, I don't like leaving tools on the floor and stuff like that as much as I can help it. So, um, you know, it was one of those things that's been on my wish list for about a year, but uh, I figured now since the, you know, I found it on sale, it was one of those things, that's, let's get it now. I didn't, did I need it? Need it? No, but it's hard to pass up when it's 50% off. So, 
So anyway, that's the progress of the the Jeep here. At least I got to drive it a little bit, but to get that locker thing figured out. But at least now I know what the problem is. So, so yeah, that'll be my weekend. And uh, once that's done, and I can get this thing out into the sun, I'll do a quick tour of it and show everybody how some of the modifications that I've done since I've owned it. So, anybody, have a good weekend, everybody. Um, hope if you guys are doing wrenching projects that they're going better than mine is. So, I uh, this has been just such a long process, but. Everybody have a good weekend and keep posting your videos. Uh, enjoy watching everybody's updates. Take care.